When you want to create a folder to be able to store all your files within it, it's really easy. And there's a couple ways you can do it, the least of which is just finding a blank area somewhere on your desktop and right clicking, and then in the menu coming down and hovering over new, and then follow this arrow to go to the next menu and go up and click on folder. When you click on folder, it does two things. It gives you the folder and actually highlights the name of the folder, the generic name. If you like the generic name, then just click off in a blank area. If you don't, go ahead and start typing and when you start typing you can see it types over that generic name. If you click off in a blank area and you go whoops I didn't mean to give it that name go ahead and right click on it and go down and left click on rename and then just start typing again anything you want and then hit enter to a solidify or accept the folders name. Another way to rename a file or a folder first have it selected and then on the keyboard hit the F2 key when you hit F2 it automatically highlights or selects the name and then you can just start typing whatever you'd like and then hit enter when you're done to accept that name. Now if you want to be able to create a folder within another folder for example let's come down here and right click on the start button and let's open up Windows Explorer which takes us to the libraries but over in the navigation pane let's use one of the exploring elements and jump right to the desktop by clicking on it and let's say that on my desktop which is right here I just created the folder word up Let's say I want to create a folder here while I'm within the window. You can either come up here and click on the new folder button on the command bar or temporarily hit the alt key on the keyboard and come up in the file, click on file and go down to new and then over and click on folder. Quite honestly I prefer just clicking the new folder on the command bar but in any case once you add the new folder you can see it's down below it's highlighted the name so if you want to give it a new name just type over it holidays. When you're done, hit enter to accept the name and you're done. And you can see that the folder desktop is actually my desktop, so what you see here within the desktop folder is on my desktop, Holidays. So let's come in here and double click on Holidays to open up that folder. And again, I can either come up here and click on New Folder or use the menu bar or find a blank area somewhere in the File List view and right click, go down to New, and then well go this way over and up and click on folder adds the folder there's a lot of ways to do the same thing within Windows 7 and then go ahead and type in well whatever the name of the folder is and then when you're done hit enter and you can see on my desktop I have the holidays folder it used to be an empty folder but now there's a folder within a folder and you can see the folder inside of that folder the icon within the icon in any case there's December 25th and then another way to create a folder is that you can right click on the folder and go down to copy it. Now when you copy it, it not only copies the folder, but if I had anything within this folder, it would also be copied as well. So when I right click in a blank area and I go paste, and I right click in a blank area and I go paste, notice that it'll copy not only the folder, but again, it'll copy the contents if there were any within the original folder. And because it has the same name, it'll go ahead and add the copy or copy to, and I can keep pasting. And that's another way to create a new folder, just by copying and pasting. And it'll give it a new name so it doesn't overwrite the original. So I've got two, but I don't want December 25th copy copy. So let me go ahead and rename them. To rename it, you can right click on it and go down to rename, or you can hit the F2 key once you select it, or click on it once, and then click on it again a second time, gently, and it opens it up. This one we'll call, and then hit enter when I'm done. And now it sorts it ascendingly, the D's down to the H's here, or A to Z. Let me go ahead and rename this one. Right click on that one, go down to rename, and we'll call this one, then hit enter. And then don't forget, not only can you rename them within the actual folder, or the file list view, you can also come over here in the navigation pane. Remember, my computer contains a hierarchical structure of all the folders on my entire computer. Let me turn it down, turn down the C drive, and then the users, I'm logged in as training, turn down training, then come over here and turn down desktop. You probably can't see that. Let me hover over the middle divider here until my pointer turns into arrows pointing in opposite directions. Click and drag to stretch it open. And there on my desktop is holidays, holidays. Turn holidays down and there are the folders within holidays, right? So I can right click it here. December 25th, go down to rename and that one's supposed to be Christmas. Hit enter and updates here. Updates within the folder, the holidays folder. So hopefully you're getting a feel how to navigate and use some of these elements of Windows Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this back relatively close to it and then scroll up and 
me go ahead and click on the computer's arrow so I can collapse it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.